live. Okay. One, two, three, go. What, what up, LMM Nation? Nation? It's your girl, Lika. And it's me, Lefty. <laughs> <laughs> and today, the video that we're bringing to you is... Chubby, Chubby Bunny. Bunny! Chubby Bunny. Chubby Bunny. Nah, okay. So, the way that you play... I know you guys probably seen this video around before. The way that you play is basically we're going to try to fit as many marshmallows in our mouth. Every time we put one in, we say Chubby Bunny. And see who has the biggest mouth. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> are we? Oh, I mean, <sighs> are you ready? I have a cursing problem. Okay, let's go. Ready? So we open. We're gonna open one pack first. Okay. Don't cheat. I don't know much more. It's upside down. Oh, campfire. I think these are the big ones. I don't know. I don't like marshmallows. Me either. Okay. One. One. Ready? Go. I don't know. This is going to be hard. Chubby, Chubby bunny. bunny. <laughs> Ow. Um, uncomfortable. you got to take your own marshmallows. Two. <laughs> Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. <laughs> Ew. My I, have, I have big cheeks in me. <laughs> you look like a chip. <laughs> Three. <laughs> We want to go back to lower region. <laughs> Chubby buddy. <laughs> Wait. I'm drooling. Mm. <laughs> Chubby bunny. This hurt. Nasty. Four. Chubby bunny. Chubby bunny. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, that is completely nasty. Now I remember why I hate marshmallows. I do like marshmallows and hot cocoa though because when it melts, it kind of tastes like whipped cream. But I do not like marshmallows. My throat felt violated. I don't know. Matter of fact, we're gonna turn this into a story time. Why not? Hmm. We just got apart. Wait, let me put my hand here. So, anyway. Uh huh. What story time are we going to talk? We have a lot of story times. We do dumb stuff. She does dumb stuff. We do dumb stuff. Like, completely dumb stuff that nobody thinks about. What are we going to say? What, what story time are we going to do? How we met? Is that, is that, you know, is that what's in right now? What's in? <laughs> you know, because I'm a little bit old, so what's in? Now we can do how we met. Okay. Well, that should be interesting. Your story, your point of view versus my point of view. So, it all started where I was supposed to be having a hotel party. So, I basically started inviting everybody on Facebook and seeing who wants to come. And whoever likes my status, I'm sending them the invitations. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> that belong to you? Mine now. Three, two, one. You're gross, bro. <laughs> anyway, I was sending out all the invitations and things like that. And, um, so you like my status, basically, who wanted to come. So, therefore, what happened? A whole bunch of people was liking my status one. So, I was just like, you know what? I started sharing that invitations, started inboxing people. And then I see her like my status, and I'm just like, who is this? <coughs> oh, I drew it on myself. <laughs> I'm like, who is this? Like, um, I've never seen her before. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just invite her. So I looked through her pictures. She got like two pictures. <laughs> and oh, then all fish. the rest is her playing basketball. So I'm just like, 
what in the world? I'm like, who is this girl? No mutual friends. Except one person. I think it was that girl. Um, What's that girl that we always see downtown Brooklyn? The J? No. I don't know what you Moni? I think oh, we, Simone, we I mean, only had, we had, like, we were mutual friends with one of her bros, basically. So I'm like, that's strange. I'm just like, and I see she's from Queens, and I'm like, oh, that's why. Oh, I'm like, I'm from Brooklyn. Like, she's from Queens, that's why I know her. Queens get the money. Anyway. Mm -hmm. so Brooklyn is one of the biggest hustling bro oh, boroughs, sorry. okay? Queens get the money. Whatever. Anyway. So. I'm ready to get hit back in. <laughs> so, um. I inbox her. I'm like, hey, um, you like my size to come to my hotel party, right? So, I forgot how the message went. I wish I could scroll back up, but that's like literally so long. That has to be like, what, four, four years, years ago? ago? I ain't scrolling back through those messages. <laughs> that's if I have the messages, because that's a whole nother story time where we, you know, this one, you know, got cold feet and kind of, you know, bounced. That's a story. Yeah. Anyway, if you guys want to hear the story where she switched it all up and thought she was a G and left me we gonna do a story time based on that anywho um she was like yeah um where's gonna be at I'm like in Brooklyn she took mad long to answer so I guess she had a problem with Brooklyn people I'm just like alright she thinks she from Queen she bougie like anyway so um I, long story short I wound up not having a hotel party due, um, due to one of my friends passing and um, I took it kind of hard so I didn't have the party um, instead of having a party the day before my birthday I'm at a funeral who would want to have a party after that so um, we basically kept talking because I would post things she would like it she would comment and Hi, then um, be like a fiend no, I said we kept talking. Mm -hmm. I would post things. She would like it. She would comment. You know, we're posting each other as WCW. You don't know what that is. That's Women Crush Wednesday. 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 <laughs> Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday. Um, so we started chatting up. We exchanged numbers. Um, and I'm a fiend boy. I thought she was catfish. As I said before, she had only two pictures. So, therefore, I was like, yeah, um, you want to FaceTime? <laughs> So, mind you, I'm mad young. I am chopped. When I say chopped, chopped. Brows this big. Right. Freaking ponytail in the middle of my head. Ponytail. My ponytail. It was like sprout down like a brat store. Freaking mole. I used to draw mole right here on my face. Um, so, we FaceTime. And while we FaceTime, this is the only thing I see. <laughs> what up? <laughs> that was my good side. I'm just like, okay, why? She's sitting there rocking back and forth, and she's sitting there looking at the camera from the side, like, <laughs> and I'm like, why about I see this girl's face, like, but, um, we got mad cool, started chatting on a regular basis, then it got to that babe stage where we started calling each other babe, um, and it just, like, we always bumped heads, we're supposed to meet, but never meet, always bump heads, always bump heads, always bump heads, until I seen this, um, beach party, mind you, a beach party in August, okay, <sighs> we... Um, I'm like, you want to come to a beach party in Coney? She like, yeah, sure, why not? I, in all reality, she probably wanted to be like, hell no. Hold on, let me put on, let me put on my glasses. <clears throat> oh, I can't even get them on my hand, my face. Yeah. So um, so tardy. <laughs> so um, we go to the we party. go to we go to the party. Well, uh, me party. and my sister, me and my sister, on our way to Coney Island. And then I'm so freaking nervous, sweating bullets, my hands sweating. I, the, you should have seen what I had on. I had on some thought <laughs> romper. Daddy. Continue, you can continue the story. I had on some thought romper, Sorry. like mad short with a hoodie. It First was like, of all, all you seen was at butt cheeks. That's all you seen. As you heard, she was from Brooklyn. So Coney is in Brooklyn, guys, right? It took her 18 years to get there. And I came from all the way from Queens. And had me waiting outside thinking she wasn't going to show up. I lost my phone. Right? You didn't show up, right? You took forever to show up. So she's like, oh, I'm two stops away. I'm Mind you, I was like 10 stops away. I, I was like, this girl is not coming. So she finally, I see her from across the street. I'm like, oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, she really came, whatever. She had on no clothes. Like, no clothes. She had on, uh, was it a baseball jersey? 
open. No. Yes, you had the mesh jersey. At first, I didn't have the baseball jersey on. I had on. It was like a, a back out romper that like showed side boob, and it was like mad short. It was like basketball shorts romper with a hoodie. Showed too much. But anyway, so <sighs> as we said, it was supposed to be a beach party. How many people was there? Including us, probably like five people. So it was so 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 awkward like the first time we meeting in person i knew none of the people she was with they kept calling me her girlfriend i was like i'm gonna be rude like we're not together yet but um so we kept going with it go with the flow whatever it was just awkward she kept you know oh why are you not talking you shy you this shy, girl shy. was a mute if she would talk like this she would nothing out of her mouth like literally she was sitting there like this with her hands crossed the whole time like why are you so quiet? First of all, why are you so quiet? I don't know. I'm just a quiet person and bless your mad heart. She used to insult me and call me something I can't tell you because it's very racist. So I won't repeat it, but she used to call me names of my arms to Diddy and Bougie and whatnot. She was really bougie. Like she couldn't touch the floor. Like I was some like some ratchet female, like mad bougie. Anyways. I only eat white meat. All right. I <laughs> we ain't about to go into that. But anyways, so continue. What happened next? So we finally started getting you know comfortable with each other. Open up a little bit right before we about to leave. We get on the train, and she, you know, she she had to leave me because you know she lived in Queens. I had a long ride back to, I mean, she lived, you live in Brooklyn. I had a long ride back to Queens. <laughs> Yo, yes, you see this girl I do? She's nasty. But then, after, you know, we got home, I was feeding the freaking call. We stayed on the phone all the time. Sleep on the phone. Um, everything, like, we were just unsepar inseparable since then. Like, mm. And then you guys don't want to know the last time that I seen that girl after that. It was a while. It was. It took like a whole... 13 years. Like three <laughs> months to see her after that. No lie. Like we went through a whole winter. We didn't see each other again until like the summertime. Like... No, I'm dragging it. We seen each other like... Let me see. I think the next time... We'll I want to say like April? April? January. Yeah, so from it August was... to January. January. Yeah, from August to January, but then after that we kept seeing. No, 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 no. Because maybe we should bring in that story time right now. What oh, story? About you know that what happened. Before? That was that was. All right, before. let me tell let me tell the story. She gonna tell her side. I'm gonna tell my side. All right. So before meeting Malika, Malika, however you wanna call her, I was a different type of person than I am now. I was a little bit more. What's the right one to use? Bougie. Thottish. Alright. That was alright. Amateur. Okay, you're annoying. <laughs> so I was not ready for a relationship and I mentioned that a lot of times just so she get it clear. And I was. I don't care. Um she was ready for a relationship. I knew it, but she would never admit that she was. But um so I used to, you know, um be like, yo, I'm not ready for a relationship, you know. I like proud things. Oh, I don't wanna mess it up. I went through she wanted me to be hers, but she still wanted to do her. Okay? So, I went through this phase in my life. I went through a lot, actually. Um, I just... I basically made up an argument so that we could stop talking. And... Yeah. Since we haven't seen each other after August, I... At one point in time, I asked her, I asked her if she wanted to go to the Oyuki Buffet. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um... And she stated that she would go, but then she lied and said that I was, okay, I was still in the school at this time. I was still in high school my last year, I believe, yes. My last year, I was still in high school, and she, we were supposed to go to Oyuki Buffet, and she was supposed to meet me. So I get out of school, and I'm blowing up her phone, blowing up her phone, blowing up her phone. I got out of school at like 2 o'clock, blowing up her phone. We were supposed to meet for 5, so I was like, you know what, let me call her. I knew she lived in Queens. I'll go home, I'll change. I wasn't even going home. I was going to my, my best friend's house, Brandy's house. So I was like, I'm going to go home, change, and um, then we can link up. I'm here, so we either on the junction, and then we would go. So 
she didn't answer the phone. But mind you, me and her wasn't together. So I'm not even going to lie. I told her this once before. I went with someone else. But the person that I went with, it was just to go with somebody. Me and that girl did nothing. We, um... That's a whole nother story. Anyways, so she kept blowing on my phone. And I was like, oh, um... What you need to know is, you know, I'm all about my money. You know, work comes first, blah, blah, blah. Just, just to say something, because I was getting cold feet or whatever. No, she, see, that's how Neve was lying. She told me, I was calling her that whole day, and I didn't talk to her until the following day. And she told me that her phone had stopped working, her phone had broken, it was in a phone shop. And that's the reason why she wasn't answering my calls. And then when I was like, you could have called me off of somebody else's phone, I'm pretty sure you probably know my number by now. Or you could have hit me up off of Facebook, I'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch of people in the house with phones. And she was just on some nonchalant thing, like not <laughs> caring about anything. Like I don't anything. remember any of this, just so you know. So I'm like, wow, that's really how you're going to do me. Like, wow, you switching up, you changing. I was like, you acting mad phony. Like, how much longer do you want me to wait? I haven't seen you since August. And it's now January. I'm like, like, mm-hmm. when is this going to get? When are we going to see each other? So yeah, I'm basically like, oh, you know work comes first whatever whatever so we stopped talking and in the the meantime that we stopped talking she got into a fight she got jumped or whatever so i hit her up about that and then at the same time no 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 her grandfather had passed and um no at first i seen that her grandfather was basically sick. sick So, me being the sweetheart that I am, even though this girl done blocked me out for like two months, didn't say nothing to me, completely left me stranded. Didn't say anything to me. And then she had the nerve to start dating someone else. We wasn't in dating. She we had the said, nerve to right, start right, dating okay, someone okay. else when she left me talking about she was ready, wasn't ready to be in a relationship and she just wanted to be free. She started talking to someone else. Mind you. Mind you. Y'all should see this girl. All right, all right, all right, Malika. Y'all going should in. see this girl. Okay, so anyway, anyway she, she was <laughs> anyway, I hit her up. Moment. Okay. I hit her up, and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? How's he doing? What's his state? Blah, blah, blah. And she was like, he's not doing so well. Thanks for asking. Being mad stuck up. Like, mad stuck up. But I understood, so I left her alone. And then she hit me. And then after that, a few days after, I got jumped. And, well, basically, it wasn't that situation. Basically, my sister was in some mix-up, and I winded up jumping in, and we got jumped. Um, so, I saw on Facebook. So, I, you know, I hit her up or whatever, like, yo, do you need me from Brooklyn or whatever? Or, are you okay? Blah, blah, blah. And then, I think after that, we just started talking, um... No, you know, as friends, you know. Because your, your grandfather passed. Yeah, but I'm talking about... Yeah, after he died, she asked, um, you know, she, um, should she come with me to the funeral? And I was like, wow, like, that that hit me because at the same time, she, you know, she was mad at me or whatever. And she still offered to, you know, come be my support system when the person I was talking to didn't even show any interest of what I was going through. So that's when I really realized, you know, this girl was meant to be with me. Like, we was meant to be together. So... After the funeral, whatever, like I was still going through like a, a dark time, like I was just miserable as hell. Um, she was still, you know, checking on me, you know, asking me if I'm okay, blah blah blah. So we started talking back as friends, and then just like the first time, it just all came back. No, nope. and it's funny because right when she started coming back around, somebody else had caught my interest, and I started talking to her, mind you, but. <laughs> that was not gonna work out let's put it like that so we were supposed to be friends and lord knows when it moved from that friend stage and it went right back to oh babe this babe that we this we that and then that's three years later we're here like and it's crazy because lord knows i did <clears throat> not think i would be with this person for so long like this person she's crazy and whatnot I'm like I, you thought you were going to be with me for three years? Oh, like, hell no, you didn't think that. I get so tired of people so fast. You and me both. Oh, 
we might have to do a story time about my stalker ex. That's what we're gonna have to do a story time about. That's gonna be a whole other story time. You know who I'm talking about. You got two. Well, we that's why you, that's why you're not supposed to. Oh, no, I can't even say that. But that's why you're not supposed to mess with those those those, those, <laughs> those other type of females. She's. Ugh, I don't want. I don't want to offend anybody because I love everybody. But they all crazy. If y'all know what I'm talking about, then y'all know what I'm talking about. We black, but they're black, but they're something else. If oh, you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. But they're crazy. But she she put us through hell. That's another story time. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we, we can't tell too many juicy stuff until next time. Oh. <laughs> What's going to be our next story? Oh, I right. keep kicking the camera. Just, just no. Okay, now we can end it.